Hello, welcome to episode 52 of our Ostriff Alpha 4 Let's Play. It is April of 1773 in our town, and last episode we did some stuff with the new sheep production tree. We have a sheep farm, we have a fulling mill for generating broadcloth out of wool harvested from the sheep. We constructed a new tailor's workshop to make clothes from the broadcloth. And we also have a tannery to do sheep hides, which we uh, don't have yet because we have not been slaughtering sheep. So what I was thinking of doing in today's episode is to kind of expand this a little bit, maybe build another sheep farm or two, and figure out a way to better optimize things. Now we have this little area right here that is pretty much exclusively dedicated to sheep production, and we have some other space as well. I've Maybe up here would be a good place to do some more sheep stuff. So why don't we go ahead... Uh, okay, we have a ton of open vacancies, first of all, so we probably should build more houses. And why don't we keep going all the way down here with some more houses? If we have, that is. Ah, yes, market stalls. So I think by now you're probably familiar with how this actually works. We're going to have to build a granary, and we're going to have to do pretty much this entire thing like we always do. So I'm going to acquire the grid back again here. Let's try uh, copy-pasting this one. Right-click. It's been a very long time since I've played this game. <laughs> Maybe a week or two. There we go. Okay, so we have the grid back. Much to the chagrin of those of you who do not enjoy the grid, but we're going to go ahead and build our favorite little uh, market area right here. Now, an interesting wrinkle has appeared, though, because we do have these new uh, other tradable items, so we're not going to be able to get by with just six market stalls anymore. So what I was going to think of doing was doing uh, our normal thing, but adding a couple more. So what we'll do is we'll just build like we normally are right here. And we'll just go four wide like we normally do. Just like so. We'll rotate again. Come on. Okay, and then of course we'll go in here and do another granary. So now we have six. Of course, the problem being we need more space. So, I know this might come as a shocker to a lot of you. We're just going to put another one right there. And I think that should cover everything. So why don't we go right on down the line and just pit every single thing. Why not, right? Might just take a little bit of time here to make sure this is done correctly. But it is worth it in the end to know that you have everything set up. Firewood is also continuing to be a problem. And a lot of people with towns of this size. What was the last one there? Fish, okay. Yeah, we are just trying our best here. Horse meat, milk, and then mutton's going to be next. Because, of course, when you harvest sheep for their... Uh, hides, not their wool, their hides. You kill them and then you can use the meat as well, so we're going to take full advantage of that. Pork and potato. This one's going to be raspberries. Sallow, salt, and shoes. And then we're going to have sunflower oil and warm clothing, if I can actually click on it correctly. So, of course, what we will do, we'll go to the... find If I can find wherever the previous one was... There we go, and we will copy all of these and copy all of those. So you may notice that there are a couple new things. So what we're going to have to do now is go to every... Uh, actually, let's start with this one since we're already over here. We're going to have to go to every thing. Did I already plan for this? Or can I just not count? This is eight market stalls, so why do I have... Do I have duplicates in here? You'll have to forgive me, it has been a very long time since I have actually sat here and played this game. So this one has salt, shoes, sunflower oil, and horse meat. Um, no? Am I just losing my mind? Has it always been? Okay, this is actually six. Okay, I'm not completely crazy. I've been playing a ton of Persona 5 Royal on my streams lately, so... Forgive me for not being completely able to remember everything I've done in here. 
All right, so now we've built these others. So I know the new ones that we are going to take advantage of is going to be mutton and warm clothing. Come on. And warm clothing. And I think there's at least a couple more. Um, that might actually be it. But we are going to nonetheless make sure we can put those two at everything we've got. So we have one here. We have another one down here. So we'll go ahead and put... See, I, I really liked this like six-piece design right here. But the problem with that is it kind of... Uh, Kind of shuts things out here. So we're just going to put this one right. No, there's a tree in the way. Maybe not. All right, so we'll just go against our better judgment. God, I, I just, I wish I didn't have to. Just kind of ruin this aesthetic I've got going here. Oh, well, I'll, I'll just put that there. It's fine. And we'll do our warm clothing and our mutton. Then we'll go do the exact same thing over and over and over again. I know it's the uh, the best thing ever, right? So I think this one we might actually be able to get away with. Putting this one right here. And it looks like we are. So warm clothes. Not going to scroll the map again this time. I figured it out. And then we have another one up here. This one will be substantially easier because of the way this is laid out. We'll do that. And of course, the same thing again. Warm clothes, and then got another one over here. No, it's over here. And we will go ahead and do this exact same thing again. This one, I don't feel like losing my grid, so we're just going to put that in the corner here. And that actually creates a little bit of visual interest as well. Okay, so that's done. And we have one more somewhere up here. Uh, right here, it looks like. Yes, so... Man, it's been a long time since I built anything over here. Let's put this one right here in the middle. And, of course... Nope, not beef. Mutton. And warm clothes. Cool, so we have that one, and then there's one more right here. Man, that gets loud when you scroll in. Okay, now if I turn this around like so, actually that's going to block a uh, bench, so we're not going to do that. We're going to put this right about here. Okay, so we got mutton and we've got warm clothes. Now that is all of those, so we're going to again go here and copy paste all of that good stuff. So now we have all of these market stalls should, should, theoretically, be absolutely good to go and there are people working them so that means we can now focus on building some houses so what i was going to do is just build houses all along here but if i do them without the uh the farms the gardens then it's going to have a lot of problems with trying to keep up with uh food production and stuff so i think unfortunately these are going to have to be garden houses which is uh, not necessarily a bad thing but kind of ruins the aesthetic just a little bit but we will make the best of it we'll go ahead and just kind of try to follow some sort of a semblance of a little uh, shoreline here uneven terrain if I put the house here no all right we're gonna get to the bottom of why it doesn't want me to build here or maybe we could just, you know, not build there. Because that's uh, six houses in a row. Should be... Eh, should be okay. Of course, they're going to need a well as well. Ha ha, ha ha. I'll be here all week. Uh, so we have all of this stuff going down. We do have this construction office right here, so hopefully that will help just a little bit. Uh, we're going to save the game. Autosave still can't be trusted. Uh, I'm going to, because there's a new version of the game create a branch save in case there's any problems I can revert and we're going to go up to 12 times speed because the game was having a lot of problems uh, the last time I played crashing with autosave so of course I have disabled that and we're just gonna kind of see what happens here so let's check in on our cheap farm cheap farm sheep farm again got plenty of wool the fulling mill is creating broadcloth uh, mm, mm, broadcloth 
Why is that not checked? So it should. Okay, we're still waiting on sheep hides. So where is our closest slaughterhouse? I actually don't remember where I built it. Is it right here? Yes. So they're slaughtering. They're set to slaughter sheep. They're all set to slaughter sheep. Um, so we're going to turn off sheep for these up here because there's no reason for them to go halfway across the map. And honestly, that one might even be a little far. But uh, we'll uh, see what happens. So we have 18 sheep. Not quite enough to be slaughtering anything. So we can, uh, we can just kind of let that go for a little bit. But uh, yeah, they are in the process of constructing our granaries up here. And then all of that fun stuff will have to happen as well. Once it's done. So we'll let them, uh, we'll let them do their thing. And think about what else we might want to do. Of course, our sheep are all chilling out here in this pasture. As it is fallow for the summer. Like, look at this town, honestly. 1,047 residents. Still have plenty of open vacancies, so we could we could probably build 20 or 30 houses and be completely fine. But this granary is complete. We're going to go ahead and pre-stock it. Oh, we have a messenger, actually. Let's check and see what they've got. Live chickens, hemp, wheat, honey, metal parts, textile. We're always going to buy metal parts. Um, in the interest of not losing people, I'm going to go ahead and buy a bunch of warm clothes so we can sell them. And we're going to sell what we can here as well. I don't think our production is going to be up to snuff to get warm clothes by the winter, so it is good to have all of that available here. Um, let's go ahead and buy some hemp, buy some wheat, because we're always going to be at a deficit for food. We have plenty of honey, which is good to know. And uh, chickens, we can always buy more because we can just slaughter them. I'm going to save again. I know this is probably going to be irritating watching me save all the time, but I do not want to lose all this progress. So this one, we're just going to go right down the line. Beef, beetroot, buckwheat, cabbage. Yeah, I, I tried to like group these in such a way that would make sense, but I, it just it's not happening, Chief. So we're just going to go all the way down here. Turn on buy from local producers. And then... You know how this goes. Everything that is not locally produced gets a cap of 5,000. Yes, I know that's changed, but I don't really feel like dealing with it. This shouldn't... Storage capacity of 20,000 should not ever really fill up like this. So this one stopped at fish. We're going to continue on flour, honey, horse meat. We're not going to stock horse meat. We're going to do flour, do honey, milk, mutton, onions... Uh, we're going to skip pork because we don't have enough pigs. Potatoes. Raspberries. Not salad. We're going to do salt. And then we're going to do sunflower oil. And that should take care of most of this stuff. And again, we'll do the exact same thing that we've done before. And by exact same thing we've done before, I mean the exact same thing I just did two minutes ago. And cap things like so. We'll turn on take from other granaries as well. And then we'll go to our previous one. We'll copy all of these settings. And that should be okay when they decide to actually get some... Hey, we have the white lines of death again. Which means to me, save the game. So it's actually funny while we're incidentally waiting for them to build some stuff. The last hotfix was a hotfix for a hotfix for a hotfix for a hotfix, I think. If I remember what the uh, the dev said on Twitter correctly, it was quite a lot of stuff got broken, and I'm glad I didn't play on 0.4.4.3, because if I had, I would have had to start over. I had not played the game for maybe a couple weeks, between 0.4.4.2 and just now. Maybe a week and a half, and that time I missed an update, that was broken. So yeah. We're, uh, we're doing fine, though. The game seems to be relatively stable from what I've played so far. And we are in pretty good shape to begin, uh, I guess, the second half of our little fun building adventures here. Real exciting new update. I am enjoying it so far. Hope you are as well. So like I said, once we get a little bit more in the way of housing built, 
and we start bringing down these open vacancies, we'll have a little bit more stable uh, worker economy. We're going to build more sheep facilities right here. That could be this episode, could be the next one. Uh, it'll depend on how long it takes for our builders to build these houses and probably a few more as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so these people are moving out. It's probably firewood clothing. Okay, so yeah, clothes are now a huge, huge, huge supply issue. So we are going to have to really double down our efforts to grow hemp. Uh, we should theoretically be okay. We just haven't ever had to do all this. We're going to immediately stop exporting clothing and sell it to our own people because that is just asking for problems. So now that that's no longer being exported, we should be able to sell it in our uh, market stalls and actually have a supply there. So that should be getting 60. This number should be going down at some point, theoretically. Uh, yes, okay. So the game is taking care of that by itself, which is fantastic. This house is just about complete. And it should still be early enough for people to plant a garden. Maybe. We'll see. So of course, this is not going to be any new immigration. This is just the people that were already living here and probably will be for some time, including most of these houses. So in the meantime, we can think about where we want some more houses to get built. The range for this one should be, yes, all the way up here will be completely fine. So we're going to come down here, leave a little bit of space, and then, come on, uneven terrain. Okay, we'll go there, there, Cut a little bit right here. Then find a spot here. And that's four right there. We'll leave a little bit of a space right in between these two. Plop another well down here on the edge of this, just like so. Maybe we'll do two if we can fit it. No, it's not going to let us. So that is okay. Not, uh, not ideal, but it'll work. That'll populate most of this shoreline. Keep it kind of uh, interesting here. People can walk around behind here and still have this built up. So we will let them get down to brass tacks, or nails rather, and build all this stuff. And uh, yeah, I think at this point you're probably tired of seeing all these time lapses. So we're just going to snap and be right back at the time when they're done with this. All right, so uh, we are now over a year since I started... Uh, trying to build all this stuff. It just, it takes so, so long to build with you. Uh, you have almost 1,100 people in your town. So I was going to let all this get done completely, but I was worried it was going to be winter. So what I ended up having to do was import broadcloth. And uh, it's actually been selling, the uh, warm clothes that is. Uh, warm clothes are selling. We've had so far last winter, 60 got sold. And so far this year, 239 at this market stall alone. So suffice to say, people are actually, you know, using those. And here they're selling as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to see just exactly what the problems are. Uh, still mostly food. Surprising. Figured most of that would be taken care of. Why is this not activated? Okay, that's dumb. But yeah, we are just kind of at this point kind of playing catch up still to our past selves here. And we're going to gonna buy more warm clothing because we can't really make too much of it yet. I've just been kind of keeping track of what I need. Just buying what I can when I can. There's just there's so much. <laughs> there's so much that this town needs at this size. So this one house is almost done. We didn't really gain too much population from it because most of these are, well, actually these were new people. Most of these are children of existing residents and uh, these as well. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple new families, but we haven't really closed much of the gap, so to speak. And of course, these are people immediately as well. So we still have a ton of open vacancies. So creating more jobs probably isn't the right move at this exact point in time. So we're going to keep adding some houses and right over here, <coughs> excuse me, 
right over here. Uh, we haven't really built anything. That's because we didn't have anything up here. I am reasonably sure that over here will work fine. And then, yeah, some point right about here, it runs out of space for uh, market connections. So we'll go ahead and find exactly where this wants to meet here. And we'll just keep on adding some of these because we can. So we got a four here. Can I get a fifth? Oh, I can get like six. Okay. Yeah, so we'll put this one right here, and that'll be the end of that. Six houses right there. Of course, with another well. Put right in the center of these two. Maybe not. All right, uh, what about between these two houses? Yeah, we'll try that one instead. So that will help take up a little bit of border space as well, and make sure that people have access to water and can also shop here. I'm pretty sure this one should be able to get at least a couple different ty types of food. Excuse me. God, there's white lines everywhere again. Keep restarting to get rid of them. But uh, so that is a little bit of a positive help here. And now I think now that we have these six, it's going to help our discrepancies just a little bit here. I also took the liberty of adding some more hay dryers to try and get more... Uh, more hay stored up over the winter, unfortunately, it does not seem to be working too well. Probably need a lot more laborers, which means I have way too many jobs open still. So, to that end... Eh, I, don't, I don't know if I want to mess with all that stuff. But we have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of jobs. And I think this forestry is still, uh... Yeah, still chopping out of there. The weird looking... We're looking okay okay for wood. Doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. So now we gotta think about what are we gonna put down here, and I know I said before, probably want it to be sheep farms and adjacent things. So I think what we should do. Probably in this general area. Let's go ahead and put a couple of them down here. And of course, save, because this game is a demon without autosave. If it decides to crash, which it does quite frequently, you are capital S screwed. <laughs> so we got two sheep farms there. Uh, I don't necessarily want to build too many more at this exact moment in time, but we will go ahead and have that taken care of. Um, we do have a slaughterhouse kind of nearby. And we just now recently got to 30, which is the maximum livestock limit at the sheep farm. Which could explain why we didn't have a lot of the uh, sheep hides, because we hadn't really killed any yet. So when we get uh, too many more born, they're going to start culling the herd and then we'll get sheep hides, but it's just one of those things. You have to have a lot coming in, a lot going out for that to actually take place. And it's going to be a very long time before any of this is built, so it's probably going to be me setting up a little bit more of this construction and then running the game for, I don't know, an hour, two hours in the background, and then coming back and giving you an update, because I just I can't do this in real time anymore. It's, it's too slow. I, I don't want to be uploading 30-minute videos where nothing gets done, because then it's not entertaining. Nobody, nobody wants to see that. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more set up here. I think as far as production facilities like the Taylor's Workshop, we are probably doing okay in terms of available people. Tannery probably doing okay as well. Family's moving out. You're going to tell us why? Firewood. Yep. The eternal, eternal curse. So we're going to get a little bit more set up here, and then after we deal with this... Okay, I don't need to buy sheep. I have plenty of sheep. Um, you know, I, I probably could if I had the uh, if I had the things built, but we don't. So let's go ahead and sell some more of this stuff. We're not exporting clothing anymore. Uh, I don't really think we're exporting hardly anything at all. But we do need to buy more iron, so we'll go ahead and do that. 
we really we should be exporting, but we just we don't have enough really to sell that a lot of these people want outside of some of this stuff. And shoes are important too, so we have to make sure that we're still making leather. Okay, so this one doesn't need to tan sheepskin. That's what the one down there is for. So I think our leather was actually completely uh completely stopped, if you will. Do we have uh, hides? Yes. Oh, we have so many cow hides. Good. Now they can actually, you know, do their job tanning. We really screwed ourselves over with that. So we'll uncheck leather. This one will just be for sheepskin. Because if they don't have shoes, I think they're going to get mad too. Anyway, so we have two sheep farms right next to each other right here. Um, I think... We're going to want hay barracks as well. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and get a fence around all of this stuff here. Just for the edification of the aesthetically minded among you. And we'll come up here. And again, that's not going to be perfectly straight because that's kind of boring. So we just put a little bit around there. We'll do one here and we'll do one here-ish. And again, it's it's not perfect, but perfect sometimes is boring. So we'll put a hay barrack here, a hay barrack right next to it, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then that area will be more or less done. Probably plant a couple of trees. That is a better option than the alternative. All right, so that's going to look pretty nice when it's done. We have a big building queue. So we're going to have to go on another one of our... We'll let the game go for an hour and a half in the background so we can actually build everything. And then we'll be back. Stay tuned. All right, we are back after three or four days in real life and a couple hours of the game running. Um, it's crashed a lot, and I guess that can be expected when there's almost 1,100 people in your town. But we finally have two more of these sheep farms here, two more fulling mills that are theoretically operating. And we've got a couple other houses as well over here in the process of being constructed. So we should have, when these are all done, 11 new houses over here. We also have these that we built earlier. And we built a couple more cart parkings that should be almost all filled up with carts so our sheep production chain should be rapidly accelerating i also added some hay dryers and all that other good stuff as well we lost a couple cows because we were running out of hay undoubtedly because we had an extra 45 livestock and sheep but uh yeah things are going i wouldn't say going particularly well but they are going and we are in the process of getting sheep hides they just have to, you know, actually make it over to the tannery from the slaughterhouse over here. And the slaughterhouse doesn't want to operate because it is full of cow hides. So what we'll do is we'll just make this a cow hide storage warehouse right here. And we'll go copy our settings from another warehouse. And eventually this should get uh, emptied out right here. Now, if I actually, you know, try and get this to uh, do something that might be smart. I have discovered I can no longer run the game on 12 times speed or it will crash approximately every three minutes. So we're not going to do that anymore. That will unfortunately mean that I cannot put out episodes very regularly at all because it will take probably a couple days worth of playing the actual game to get content for one episode and I just don't have the time between everything else to do super fast anymore unless I start it over, but I don't particularly want to do that until we get a major update that breaks everything. But while we're here, take a look at our population statistics. We've got 766 adults, 465 of whom are working actual jobs, 176 laborers. So yeah, I mean, we've got a pretty robust economy going here. 
Still says zero sheep. I don't know why that is. We've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 40, 45 maybe. And then our wealth distribution thing seems to be working somewhat okay. Our net population hasn't really grown since we've added more houses, but it has spread out to where there is not 30-year-old children living with their uh, their parents. Okay, so why is this cow dying of starvation? We're still... Uh, this is annoying. I just, I can't keep up with enough animal feed to really take care of everything. Which is... quite frustrating. But, uh, yeah. I guess you get what you get, and we're going to be saving a ton more. I guess you get what you get when you're trying to push the limits of the game. And we've got a pretty big portion of the map developed. Like, this right here is going to be, I think, the next big area. But we have done quite a lot here. And, of course, the forestries are demolishing all these trees right here that we had originally built houses inside of. So, I, I mean, I don't really think I can prevent that, unfortunately. Just because we legitimately need the wood to make sure people don't move out because they don't have any firewood. So, yeah, as you can see, the, the lack of warm clothes is actually the biggest problem, but it's not currently a cold month. Because we are not able to actually fully produce the warm clothing. Because, if we go in here, it says there's no textile for clothes production, even though we have broadcloth. But I guess it still needs the hemp-based stuff for some reason. I don't know. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. But, uh, I guess it is what it is. We do have money, though. So we probably should be uh, sending messengers and stuff to try and get other things taken care of. Because I don't want people to move out just because they don't have warm clothing. And I have to figure out why it's not actually letting me do any of that. I've had this all set up for quite a while, and I'm based on what I know, it should be fine. But it's, uh, for whatever reason, it's just kind of, uh, lacking different stuff. It could also be sheepskin and broadcloth are both needed to make the, uh, the stuff, but we don't have sheep hides because the, uh, uh, the, what do you call it? The slaughterhouse is not doing any of that. I guess they're behind on cows, so I probably could... Actually, no. We'll leave, we'll leave this one alone, and I think it would probably be the smartest option to just go ahead and build another slaughterhouse just for the sheep. So why don't we go ahead and do that? We'll put that at the front, and then if that can handle only sheep, I think we'll be in a much better place. Yeah, so these seem to be seem to be working okay. We just don't have the actual sheep uh, sheep skin. Excuse me. No, I don't want to pause that. Just want to make sure it was actually going. So I'm I'm not used to playing the game on five times speed. I've been playing on twelve times speed for basically as long as the game has existed, and I prefer the faster pace so I don't have to wait as long. Oh look. Alright, so fortunately it does not seem to have lost a lot of progress. We are going to save again. Yeah, it's just, the, the game just does that, unfortunately. There's not really much I can do about it. There's a couple of bugs the dev is already aware of that are happening and trying to fix, but you know, there's only so much you can do at one time. Just, god, there's so much, so much stuff here. It's, I, I still really like this town after all the, uh, the work that we've put into it. I think it's been a really fun, rewarding experience getting to play it. Yeah, I planted some more trees, and we're just, honestly, we're just kind of waiting on stuff to get done. It just takes forever in a town this size to build anything. So we will, uh, we'll see what happens. But overall, I am enjoying it. I think it's a lot of fun. So while we wait for this slaughterhouse to get built. Oh, we actually have our messenger has arrived there. So we can actually go ahead and buy some sheepskin so we can hopefully make some clothing. They're demanding sheep hides that we can't export. Uh, always need to buy iron. Uh, can sell 2,000 flour. 
No, not 20,000 flour. 2,000. There we go. Recoup some of our money. Horse died of starvation. It's because there's no, uh... Yeah, there's no, there's no hay. So what I am going to have to do... I think this is already jacked up. Yeah, it's at 120% wage. There's, there's really nothing I can do about that. Oh, we have way too many horses. We are going to have to slaughter... A lot of these, probably. And we can eat the meat, too. Okay. Let's see, hemp. We're going to buy hemp. See, it just it gets to the point where you just cannot keep up with what the town is actually demanding, and you have to import so much of your stuff. And I guess I'll just have to go into uh, to debt and game to pay for stuff, but I mean, there's, there's only so much you can do. All right. So we've... Uh, oh, I hope pigs aren't dying. That's so annoying to fix. They've got food. Oh, we got a lot of boars, though. We can slaughter those. See, I just... I haven't even thought about the pigs in a long time. I think we're, we're definitely at the point now where it's starting to approach unreasonable to continue playing this safe, but uh, we're going to stick with it as long as we can. Mostly because I really like this town and I don't want to start over. But if it, if it comes down to it, eh, could be a good excuse for a Season 2 of uh, Alpha 4.4 because we do have all the new sheep stuff as well. I don't know, we'll, we'll play it by ear. And there's another uh, couple games I wanted to get into on here, and there's also streaming that's been happening as well. If you have not been following me over on twitch.tv slash jcthebeard, I'll put a link in the description for you. But I stream not quite every day, but most days in the evenings, Eastern Standard Time in the United States. So if you want to be a part of it there, go ahead and check that out. I'm playing a lot of Persona 5 Royal right now, but I am going to be playing games like Ostrov and SimCity, uh, Satisfactory, other things on stream there. So I'd appreciate if you were a part of everything and all the fun over there. And if not, that's fine too. I'm just happy to have you along for the ride wherever it might be. But yeah, let's get in here while they're finishing the slaughterhouse. And as soon as that's set up, we will get our sheep slaughtered right here. And then I think it's probably going to be just about time to call it for today's episode. The slaughterhouse is done. We're going to uncheck everything except sheep. And just uh, have them start going. So they should, theoretically, be going here. See, now now we're starting to, uh, to fill up our hay dryers and stuff. Hopefully the... Uh, added wages for the laborers is going to incentivize them to get all that stuff done because we are going to need a ton of hay because I think we are pretty much completely out across the entire town, which is not a good problem to have. But we will see. Because this guy is going to work. Is he going to actually slaughter the sheep that I've told them to slaughter? Oh, this is cool. I forgot that they'd done this. It's been so long since I actually like played the game. So I guess this is our durability on clothes, warm clothes, and shoes. All right, so he is going to be slaughtering sheep. So we can actually follow him around while he's doing that and see exactly how this works. I've not actually seen this before. So if he's slaughtering sheep, why is he... Oh, okay, they're in a pasture. That's right. I had forgotten. I thought I was like, why are you, uh, why are you not going to the uh, the sheep farm? I guess he's going to walk all the way down here to whatever pasture these guys are in. Grab it and then go all the way back over there. I guess I could put another bridge in this general area maybe to facilitate this. But that would take in the current current way the game's running would take about a year in game. And I don't particularly uh, want to do that yet. So that's one of the rams. I wish when I zoomed in I could change the distance of the camera, not just to a floating point above his head, because then it kind of like, you see how it like cuts off stuff at the bottom there? Well, the ram was moving in and out of existence there. So, we'll see exactly what happened. Oh, he's 73 years old and he's still working at a slaughterhouse. Okay. Wow, that's uh... Yeah. Uh, I guess there's no retirement in Austria, if not yet at least. Maybe that would be a feature that gets implemented someday, but this should relatively quickly 
be slaughtered. And he's carrying 50 sheep hides. Cool. So that's exactly how I thought that was going to work. So we can go over here to our tannery. And pretty soon, this should have 50 sheep hides. Hopefully. If this is our guy right here, which it's not. Well, someone is going to deliver sheep hides. I don't know who it is. But at some point, this will say 50 out of 500 instead of 0 out of 500. See, what else is new and exciting in here? Of course, I told you about the fulling mills. We've got houses being gradually constructed over here. Oh, this is a big one. Seven, six people moved in? Yes, we're almost at a bona fide 1100. You know, I went and I put like a dozen or 15 new grave plots in here off camera, and uh, I guess they filled them all up. So I'll have to do that again at some point. Maybe build another graveyard. Wonder, do we have any sheep hides? Okay, yeah, so those 50 are showing in there. We've got some, some more on the uh, chopping block here, so to speak. It's, it's going to take time for them to catch up. And I think I'm importing, should be importing sheep hides if I remember correctly. Sure, sheep skin, rather. Yes, which is a component of making the clothing. So that should be going in here, and it looks like it is <laughs> awaiting 420. Excellent. But, uh, yeah, we are. Well, we're going to save again so I don't lose my mind when this crashes the fifth time. But, yeah, we are looking pretty good. A little Spartan utilitarian right here, but it will, uh, it'll get improved. We have all this hay that's drying. Hopefully, it will, uh, you know, actually be able to sustain us through the uh, through the winter here. So we've got quite a few cows that have died, and I've got bulls that haven't even been slaughtered yet here. I don't know. Yeah, at one point all these were completely full, but now they're just uh, they're just starving. Oxen keep dying in here. For whatever reason, that's annoying. Because we need our salt. If we run out of salt, we're going to be in pretty big trouble. Yeah, it's it's June 1776. We, we've been at it for long enough for today's episode. I just want to give you guys a little bit more of a glimpse into the production chain here. And it seems it's going to be quite a while before we actually have a tanned batch of sheepskin. But we do have sheepskin in the Taylor's Workshop that we've imported. And we have warm clothing that is being produced and hopefully we will be able to rectify this problem with a lack of warm clothes. I'm probably going to have to import some. But we will uh, we'll see what happens. It's uh, not as smooth as it used to be for sure, but the fact that the game is still even remotely playable at the size of a village as spread out as mine is with all the uh, inefficiencies and suboptimal design. I think it's fantastic. Ostrov is such a fun game and I really enjoy playing it and I enjoy making videos to share with all of you guys and I just really appreciate everyone who comes out and watches videos. It is a distinct pleasure and I hope you'll stick around for more and also go follow me on Twitch and be part of the fun there because I like playing video games. And I think it's fun. I think it's a fun way to connect with people. But that is all the time we've got for today's episode. Thank you so so much again for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.